Hey guys, this is uh, TKZ in Revlet Studio. You know, I don't know if you guys know about uh, enums and things like something like, I don't know, dot surf, this type, etc. etc. I say Revlet has got their custom or inbuilt enums. I've been playing around with making custom uh, enums if you like. An enum is basic, basically a list of items or namespace if you like. Let's say you got, I don't know, basically I say you got a cup on a table and you got a computer sitting next to it. When you call that table from script it's an enum, let's just say, and it's an uh, enum object type and it comes back with the list of the, that cup and the table. So it's basically similar to that. So if you like, instead of a uh, surface type, it would be object type if you like. And then it lists all the things on top of that table. Basically, basically like a glorified table if you like. Well, I've been designing my own uh, enum if you like. Making a custom version of it. The only difference is when you want to set it and call it, it's different where I've got this little bit of script here I've, I've actually got the code inside the module script which I'll show you in a minute but uh, every time when you want to set it or set it even put my teeth in you can you have to call ignore this little bit here that is just something I was just testing <laughs> so every time when you want to call my custom enum you do we call the uh, module script by a value that can be any value whatsoever and then when you want to access that value that enum that custom enum you call it by another value and call it by the internal function called set which is inside this module script so and then you pass a value in these bits and pieces so if I set that to nothing this enum has two different types of uh, active modes where I've got an active and sleeping mode if you like I can have as many as I like so what this does is what normal enums do they checks to see if the enums in that list if it doesn't if it's not even there it comes back with an error I thought rather than do a error and stop in the script I thought why not when you're calling the, my custom enum when the uh, the key does not exist in the list then it just comes back as as a, as a default value so what I've done is I'm of course setting the meta table I know it's a little bit complicated <laughs> setting the meta table of p num p e num to the default value to start with which is uh, sleeping which is mode equals sleeping so what I'm doing is hope is uh, going through the table that I pass through this this function here if it's nothing inside that function it will return sleeping basically so if I run that I've got nothing inside that things yeah so I need to sort that out so if, if I want to set nothing it come back as a default value so it sets it back to sleeping so if I want to change that uh, mode of that my custom enum all I need to do is do this this is another mode that I've got so just, all I have to do is just that and there we go if I set that mode to something else that's not inside the uh, the valid modes it come back as saying that's not valid All right let's just do that test service mode that is not found and it gets back to default sleeping so yeah <laughs> Although I could do a very very simple thing like uh, a value like I don't know 
I just thought it was uh, quite neat that what you can do with meta tables and things. I don't quite understand meta tables in general, but I do know what the index is. All that does is sets the uh, this meta table value to that. So when I call test meta table, it sets that as the default inside test or in this case because I'm rec uh, recording it from the module script it's PE num so yeah <laughs> Look, I don't know if uh, if I confuse anybody out there I probably would have done but whatever <laughs> I'll be uh, posting this in my, the description down below so you guys can have have a uh, look at it and play around it break it if you want <laughs> so I thought yeah it's just something that I've been working on most of uh, this morning. I was about to say t today, but I've been up all night, and I six o'clock in the morning. Yay, up all night. <laughs> anyway, this has been Tigaz in Roblox Studio on a custom enum. Wish I could uh, do a sort of a cinematic of it, but it's just uh, just if I did do that, it'd just be a output reading for the cinematic. I don't think that'd be quite uh, that'd be quite boring. I think. <laughs> oh yeah! Before I do that, before I leave, I show you another little thing that I can that you can actually do. So, let's just say you got a function that you want to pass to the method of this my custom enum. Complicated, I know, but at the same time, you can do it. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. <laughs> so you can set or add a function inside that uh, set function if you like. And I've done a check for that as well. So would have to get uh, the capitalization right. return obj so the way I had it beforehand it wasn't checking to see if I, if the mode is actually a function it if it is a function it calls that function and then sets its mode to whatever that function puts out and if that function I wonder just thought of another little check that I haven't quite tested have a look I put that as a value that is not inside the list yeah there we go so it's so it works in other words it calls the function and if it can't find it it comes back with an error and then sets itself to its default value whereas if I put a valid name there yeah okay <laughs> have I typed mistyped it or something um, because I'm recording errors and bugs so that worked before so I don't know why that's not working now hmm okay I'll have to write that bit in before I release it then I think what's happening there is it's checking to see if it's a function and I'm not setting the method table so <laughs> or it cannot find that thing I'll have to do a bit more work research on that a little bit but it was actually working before I started recording which is <laughs> strange oh well yeah so by the time you guys see this there should be uh, a this module script and the example on how to use it up online I might as well just uh, put the put the, pace, put the thing on my uh, Dropbox so you guys can actually play around with that and as I was about to say this is uh, Tigaza in Roblox Studio and I'll catch you guys later I've just realised what I was doing wrong in the uh, what you just seen I forgot to add the value as a table and set the mode to that function so now it should work <laughs>
there we go fantastic so yeah it's uh, sort of got error checking and things I thought I'd just add this little bit to into the uh, video because uh, I just looked back at the what I just recorded and then realized how I had it before when I just cleared it so <laughs> oh dear what's my brain like I don't know 